I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. It is definite that one issue, one person, or one object that you know is more important to you than Yahuwah God because it constantly causes you to doubt him and even tempts you to give up on him. It could be a job, a possession, reputation, a relationship, or many other things. But you wonder why he doesn't answer your prayers. If he were good, you reason, he wouldn't make me go on hurting like this. Be careful. You have no idea what the Lord is accomplishing by making you wait. And he is God. He deserves your utmost respect and trust. So if there's something in your life causing you to question God, then you need to examine if you've placed it above him in your life. You need to examine if that something has become an idol to you. An idol is anything that you value more than the one who saved you. It competes for your devotion to him and causes you to doubt, avoid, and even forget him. But understand, God won't stand for competition and will target anything that could potentially hurt your relationship with him. So consider, has anything besides Yahushua Christ come to represent your identity, worth, comfort, or security? If so, then confess and repent. Turn back to the only one who can really satisfy your soul. Evict the idols, and if you're wondering if God wants to still meet with you, if it's okay even after you've done wrong or the times you've already approached him about a matter, know for certain he does. See, the Savior always welcomes you into his presence, regardless of how you're feeling or what mistakes you've made. Always. Unfortunately, the emotions of embarrassment, fear, and failure can keep you from realizing this, which is one of the reasons the evil one will tempt you to sin. The devil knows that if he can get you to rebel against the Lord, you'll feel so guilty about it that you'll avoid his presence altogether. The more the enemy can get you to focus on your shame and inadequacy, the easier it is for him to keep you from the one who takes it away. God wants you always. Don't avoid him for any reason. Instead, go to him often. Pray to him often. Turn from your sin and accept his grace. His loving arms faithfully awaits you. Always. You shall have no other gods before him. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, Thank you for showing me there's nothing I desire above you. Oh, thank you for removing the idols in my life and helping me to draw nearer to you. Oh, thank you for loving me more than I love myself. Thank you for always, always being there for me. Thank you for always, always welcoming me into your presence and forgiving my sins. 
I am so thankful. I am so grateful for your grace and loving kindness. Thank you, Dad. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. I love you. You be blessed now, you hear?